Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Olise the son of Nobe is my name and I hope I'm finding you well uh, on a Friday. Uh, you know that we are preparing for the weekend and most of you I know already uh, bracing for a wonderful weekend. Uh, I just want to update you on uh, a case uh, that is happening or in a matter of interest that is happening. You know that a few days ago <clears throat> we published about two or three videos uh, in which we were stating that some Zimbabweans uh, a group of Zimbabweans rather calling themselves Zimbabwe Intercessors Movement were pushing uh, to put pressure on the Southern African Development Community, that is SADC, to in turn put pressure on the Zimbabwean government to force President Emerson Mnangakwa into dialogue with the opposition. Their chosen uh, choice of of the opposition is advocate Nelson Chamisa, so they are saying that President Mnangakwa should sit down with uh, advocate Nelson Chamisa, who until his resignation was the president of the Citizens Coalition for Change, which, were, which is the mainstream opposition as per representation in the Zimbabwean parliament. So these guys have set up working groups uh, where they want to operate from and right now they have representation in Zambia and Botswana and as we speak they went to Botswana I think they're still there they were there yesterday they left the day before yesterday going to Botswana where they are consulting with a number of influential bodies in Botswana including the churches there as well as the Botswana government uh, of Mr. Masisi, Mr. Mohetsi Masisi, who is the president of Botswana. So they are saying that Zimbabwe cannot move ahead unless and until there has been constructive dialogue between uh, President Emerson Nangakwa and Nelson Chamisa, which should also involve or incorporate uh, other stakeholders, we include the civil society movements and the churches, to try and find an amicable solution to the Zimbabwean political impasse, they are complaining over the disrespect for people's rights. They are complaining over the alleged harassment of opposition politicians and opposition activists. They are uh, protesting the disappearance and subsequent death, death of Bishop Masaya. They are protesting over the continued arrest of opposition activists, you know that there are about 77 triple C activists were recent, recently arrested, including uh, former Senator Jameson Timber and his 16 year old son were arrested a few days ago and they were arraigned before the courts. So these uh, Zimbabwe intercessors movement uh, members and leaders led by Bishop Kevin Nyamakanga are saying that Zimbabwe is not a normal political space as things stand right now. And therefore, there is no way that President Emerson Nangakwa can be expected to take over as the chair of the SADC because of the situation that is happening in Zimbabwe, because of the lack of democracy that is in Zimbabwe, because of the shrinking of the democratic and economic space in Zimbabwe because of the corruption that is happening, because of the lack of rule of law, disrespect for the rule of law that is happening in Zimbabwe, especially the harassment of the opposition, also the dissection of, of the opposition, this, which is in parliament through recalls and a number of other issues. They are raising these as their main bonds of contention that Zimbabwe cannot go ahead as it is. Therefore, there should be dialogue which then comes up with the way forward. If that dialogue doesn't happen, they then believe that the best way forward would be for the collapsing of the Zimbabwean government as it is right now to form what they call a national transitional authority which will incorporate different people, different role players to try and map the way forward including the looking into the changes that need to be instituted into the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission in the way the ZEC is constituted uh, because they believe that is full of what are called forever associates of Zimbabwe. That is the FAS operatives who are mainly drawn from the 
Central Intelligence Organization, the Zimbabwean military as well. So they are saying that they should be constructive. I mean, they should be a national transitional authority, which then paves way to a review of a number of statutes, including the Zimbabwe Electoral, the Electoral Act, which governs the way and manner in which the elections in Zimbabwe are supposed to be run, as well as how and partisan those who preside over the state institution should be so this is another issue that they're saying is a second option there should be a national transitional authority if this doesn't happen they say then that there must be uh, fresh elections which decide the in totality the course that zimbabwe is going to take so they are making uh, a number of forays into neighboring countries they were in botswana i think they are still in botswana uh, even today they might be in botswana up to the weekend i have i don't have a full itinerary of how they are going to do it or of, of how long they're going to stay in botswana rather but they are also have a presence they have a presence in zambia which is also another strategic position you know that the seom which was uh tasked with observing the Zimbabwean elections, which wrote uh, a damning report on the manner in which the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission held the elections in Zimbabwe, was headed by uh, Nevas Mumba, Dr. Nevas Sikwila Mumba, who is a former Zambian vice president, and he is a Zambian. So they see this as a strategic move to try and put more pressure on the Zambian government of Hakainde Hichilema as president to try and make sure that there is a dialogue between the opposition and President Emerson Nangakwa, or there is a national transitional authority failure to which there must be fresh elections. So we will continue to monitor to monitor what these guys do, and we will continue to give you up to date. Uh, information as to how they are proceeding as to when their next move is going to be and how they are going to fare in that uh, regard but you'll know that although there are very slim chances of uh, fresh elections or no chances of fresh elections this kind of pressure is necessary to try and force a rethink on the government of zimbabwe in how especially president emerson nangakwa treats the opposition in how uh, he allows for democracy to prevail in the country as we go ahead in our normal lives in the country, which, of course, are not normal at the present moment. So this is what we have for you on that uh, particular uh, issue. So we will continue to monitor, as I have said, and we'll hold interviews with some of them, uh, especially next week, to try and find out how far they have gone, their main purpose in this, and their uh, envisioned uh, positive outcome so don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and share it thank you